Can the back office staff embrace outsourcing without coordinating closely with the middle and front office staffs? I don't think so. Uh, I think at the end of the day what we're talking about is the overall support for the business and if we pick apart those pieces and don't think of the holistic support model then the back office staff would just be asking for disaster. Uh, right? You, you want to coordinate with your front office staff because they need to know who's supporting them. Um, you want to make sure that your middle and back office operations have some sort of like seamless operating model between the two and so to just do that without coordinating with those other two sets of, of teams uh, I think would be a pretty bad model. Are operations staffs threatened by back office outsourcing or will it make their lives easier? <clears throat> so I think it depends on who in the operations staff you're asking. Uh, I think if you're talking about some of your senior management, uh, the goal is to make their lives easier. I think if you're talking about your actual reconciliation analysts, um, if you think of your, like, your new uh, newer analysts, uh, I think they're threatened by the, the concept of back office outsourcing because usually it's their functions that are considered first. What is driving greater acceptance of outsourcing for the back office? Again, I, I come back to kind of who's, who's asking the question and who's playing that role. I think cost is always the first thing that we're going to when we're talking uh, outsourcing. But I think one of the things that's come along in the last, I don't know, let's say 15 years is greater specialization uh, in outsourcing. And so what was happening was instead of just kind of moving people off and people not having jobs, now all of a sudden with some of your onshore or as Sarah said in our panel earlier, your nearshore outsourcers, um, you're actually taking some of that experienced staff and you're putting them together in these, uh, these corporations that are doing outsourcing as a model. And so you're actually taking and bringing a more experienced back office model uh, to your clients. And so I think that's driving some of the acceptance as well. They're getting the experience that they were looking for. Thanks for watching this video interview from SecOps North America 2017. Like what you saw? Click on the link here to subscribe and stay up to date on FTF News content and events.